Hello again, I'm going to start talking about inversing coordinates uh, in this video. I said that I was going to use the traverse that I made previously, but I'm kind of getting sick of it. So I'm going to start with something completely new, and here we go. So, inversing coordinates. Inverse and coordinates. I'm going to draw my northern axis and my easting axis. So this is the northern, oops, northern and easting. And going up is positive, and going over this way is positive. So we're just working in quadrant one. This is quadrant one. So say I have a line, a line here going from point one to point two. Right, this is a, a line in the field that already has coordinates on it. So we ha it has a point one as an easting and a northing. Right, and point two also has an easting. And it has a northing. Okay, so this is the northing two, coordinate two, and this is the northing coordinate one. Okay, and then this is going to be the easting to 2 to point 2 and this is going to be easting to point 1 <clears throat> well how can we solve for this distance here let's call that distance um, D D for distance Well, this, this right here is going to be our change in northing, and this right here will be our change in easting. I want to point out something right now. The in surveying, the change in northing is also equal to the latitude. and the change in easting is equal to the departure. You would think that this would be uh, a longitude, but no, no, it's departure. <clears throat> so what is, how can we, how can we solve for this? What does this look, how does this look familiar? Well, right, we're working with a triangle. Right, if you look closely, this is just a triangle, right? I'll draw it here. Right, this is going to be our our change in northing, and this is going to be our change in easting. <clears throat> so, what theorem do we know that looks like this? hypotenuse and two sides. Well, it's the Pythagorean theorem. It's the Pythagorean theorem. 
And what does the Pythagorean theorem say? Well, it says that C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So what do we have here? We have a change in northing, I mean a change in easting, a change in northing, and our distance, our distance D, which we don't know, we want to solve for. <clears throat> well, this is the same thing. So what could we use in this theorem to you know kind of change around to to um, work with that well, with what we have here? Well, we can say that um, we can say that c is going to be equal to d a is going to be equal to their change in easting and B is going to be equal to our change in northing. Right? And our change in easting is equal to easting 2 minus easting 1 and our change in northing is going to be equal to our northing 2 minus northing 1. So that's replace the generic Pythagorean theorem with surveying terms. <clears throat> so, d squared is equal to the change in easting squared plus the change in northing squared. Right? And we said the change in easting is this, and the change in northing is this. So let's replace that. D squared is equal to easting 2 minus easting 1 squared plus northing 2 minus northing 1 squared. So D is equal to the square root of easting 2 minus easting 1 squared plus northing 2 minus northing 1 squared. And we've done it. Any distance d is equal to this formula. That is the inversing distance formula used in surveying. So I'm, I'm almost out of time, so I'll continue the inversing coordinates in the next video.